there, kids. Do you remember me? I belong to Mary and Joseph. My name is Dave. I'm the one who carried Mary to Bethlehem when she was pregnant with baby Jesus. Oh, wow. That was so tiring. But I was the only one who could help out. I carried all of the bags, and Mary rode with me the whole way with Jesus. So how long ago did that happen, Dad? Well, Jesus is 14 now, son. I remember all of that well, though. I know that, Dad. You've told me. Right. Did I ever tell you about what happened with him before you were born? What do you mean? Well, you know that three times a year, we all travel to Jerusalem for the feast. Yes. Well, not too long before you were born, we did just that. We left for Jerusalem. Jesus was 12 then, and he had just as much energy then as he does now, maybe even more. He was always running along beside me. He didn't want to ride. Anyway, we finally got to Jerusalem. The crowded city was even more crowded than usual because of all the people in for the feast. Joseph and Mary spotted some friends and went over to talk. Hey, Joseph is here. Joseph, Mary. Hey, and Jesus is here too. They ate and talk to people like always. And after the feast was over, Joseph and Mary packed up to leave with a group of people to go back to Galilee. We left and traveled the whole day. We were far from Jerusalem and in the middle of nowhere. Mary finished making dinner and called Jesus, but they couldn't find him. We couldn't find him. He just wasn't there. When I heard his parents calling his name, I thought I'd get up and go search too. While they went around to all the people we were traveling with, I went around to all the animals we were traveling with. Hey guys, excuse me. Um, I, I was wondering if you have happened to see a boy around here alone. Um, right. I don't speak sheep. Yeah, thanks for your help. Hi there, I was wondering if you've seen a lost boy running around. You talk quite funny. Excuse me? I said the way you speak is most interesting. Okay, well, since you understand me, could you answer my question? Very well. What was it again? Have you seen Jesus? Jesus. The boy. Ah, well, what does he look like? Well, he's short, he's got brown hair, and he kind of looks like his mother. No, I'm afraid I've not seen such a thoroughly described creature around here. Uh, gee, thanks. Jesus! 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 Where, Where are, are you? you? Mary and Joseph couldn't find Jesus anywhere in the group of people we were traveling with. They didn't know what else to do but go all the way back to Jerusalem and hope that he was there. So we left the rest of the group going to Galilee and went back to Jerusalem. Once we got back to Jerusalem, Joseph and Mary wanted to go back to all of the places they had been during the feast. They searched for three whole days. Finally, the last place they looked, they found Jesus. He was in the temple. He was sitting with the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed. They could hardly believe that a boy so young could understand so much. Jesus, my goodness. Your father and I have been searching for you for days. We had no idea where you were. What have you been doing? Why didn't you tell us? Why were you looking for me? Don't you know that I need to be in my father's house? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm not so sure myself. 
Mary and Joseph didn't understand what Jesus meant when he told him that he needed to be in his father's house. His father's house was in Galilee, where they were going, but he was alone in Jerusalem. It's time to go home now, Jesus. Okay, Mom. So, he went with them? No arguing? No arguing. Jesus joined his parents, and together the four of us traveled back to Galilee. When we got home, Jesus did not disobey his parents, and he did all he was told to do.